course I'll be halfway around the corner when we start. Okay, no rush, just take it nice and smooth. Almost lose it at the final corner. Having just said I'm going to take it nice and smooth. Jonathan's going defensive. Yeah, I'm not going to even bother. There's no point in making a massive lunge at the end of the first lap. If anything, I want to learn from these guys because they all qualified much faster than me. And if they can drag me away from the guys behind, it's all good. Come on, Jonathan. I'm not sure what happened to Jonathan, I think. My reputation has preceded me. Right, let's see if I can get up to German. And then just follow him round. But it was until I cocked up that corner. I hope he doesn't figure out that I seem to be going around that corner a lot quicker, unless he's saving his tyres by doing that. In which case, I'm going to look really silly later on. I really wish I wasn't. Like 
20 minutes left. Is he oh, where's he gone? and then turn back in. There you go, you get out of my way. Nice! I'm quite glad I let that caddy go. Right, come on. Catch back. Yeah, I didn't try and stuff up his inside when uh, he'd gone on the grass. He goes wide again. I'm gently trying to ease it up the inside without hitting him. He comes to an almost stop and then turned in. Which seemed a bit unfair. Okay, it turns out the German is in fact dangerous. That poor caddy. Right side. What are you doing? Jesus! <sighs> what the hell happened there? Oh well, I'm in second. Jeez. Having avoided all the carnage pretty much in the last race, it would appear that it's all happening in front of me in this one. The Sousa behind is pitting. No wonder. He was about 20 foot up in the air last I saw of it. Right, so this means I've somehow got in second, which is awesome. I'm 11 seconds off the leader, which is less awesome. It means there's no point in risking everything to try and catch him. What it does mean is I've got a bit of space, so when the Cadillacs come past, I can at least try and get out of their way safely without worrying someone's going to overtake me while I do it. Which is nice. Whoa, took that a bit too tight, though. As much as it might be a little bit of a dull race for anyone watching, from a point of getting a decent result, it's worked out rather well. Right, so I've got just in behind. I've also got a glass right in front of the relative scoreboard, which is handy. So Jonathan's 13 seconds behind. Okay. What idiot puts his glass in front of the screen? So basically, just drive nice, fast, consistent laps. That's all I need to do. And avoid incidents like going in the gravel. Oh, what are you doing? Silly Cadillac.
Right, I've now strategically moved the glass so I can see what's going on. Right, so Nicholas is now 12 seconds ahead. So I think he's got this unless something major happens. The bad news is there's a cluster uh, that caddies coming, and they're the first, second, and third place people. Oh, I was about to say I need to get through this bit quite quickly because I don't want them to catch me around here. I'd like them all to catch me on the straight, but I'm not sure it's going to be possible. Car right. Clear right. Right side. Clear right. That's the car behind. Your lap times are increasing. Come on, get back on it. There we go. Normally I would have just carried on, but given the fact I'm in a decent position with loads of space either side of me, it didn't seem worth it. Although, is that the leader I see in front of me? I don't know what's happened. Is that the leader going in the pits I see in front of me? The leader, hello, is pitting. Um... Okay, there's about 10 laps left. I don't know how bad my tyres are going to get. Please don't take me out, please don't take me out. Not when I'm in first. Where am I going? Left side, clear left. <sighs> that was a good attempt to chuck it all away. And now Nicholas is right behind with better tyres. Brilliant.
Okay, right, concentrate. Just take it home. A great time to get slow down. Why is it chugging so much? Seriously, this is not the time for either my internet connection or my PC to start throwing a spanner in the works. Tires are definitely going. There's six minutes left. I could have let Tristan pass and hope they tow me, but I'd rather have him behind me, I think, and hope that Nicholas gets held up in some way. Because he's catching. At this point, there's not a lot I can do, because I can't stop the tyres. All I can do is try to hold on, so 3.6. It's going to be 5 minutes left at the end of this. So that's about 4 laps. So I can afford to lose about half a second to luck. And here comes the carnage. Right. 
Instead, I just lost two seconds out of that. Brilliant. Again, I'd rather finish second without gaining any more incident points than try and hold third. Okay, down. A car down on you. Uh, try and hold first in front of the caddies and get twatted. I wanted second gear there, not first. Okay, so Nicholas is now right behind me. Bugger. Time to get defensive. Foster cars are going to have to actually wait. Because I have no grip. Don't do that in the braking zone, you bellend! Still there, clear right. <sighs> Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. <sighs> God damn it. Oh no 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 no
I think my tyres might be a little bit worn out. Also, my car may be a little bit bent after that. Right, come on, ease it round. Let's just get it on. onto the straight. All I've got to do is go in a straight line. Even that's proving a problem. Okay. I got second. Despite my best effort to destroy my car on the final lap. <sighs> and relax. <laughs> that way, I'm managing to avoid every Cadillac. And what happens? I lose concentration for a split second. <laughs> And send it into a... Just really <laughs> glad I didn't kill the car. Right. On that note, let's have a look at the replay. What did I actually... Oh, I went on the blooming grass, didn't I? So I still had a fake chance, but yeah. I was definitely trying not to just slam on the brakes, so that at least it would keep rotating. I changed down gears a bit too much to try and save it. Surprised I didn't blow the engine. Oh well. Right. Back to the start of the race. There we go. Let's go with that one. Save that. Get that there. Wait now, was that even once the race has started? Ah, so that's what happened. Right, I see. So this was on the warm up lap. No. Nope. When some cars decide to take each other out. The race has started. And that chap somehow manages to kill himself in front of the uh, marshal's post. Coming at the hairpin, cold tyres, first lap. The annoying right-hander that I complain so much about. Oh, looks fine. That must be riding the curbs. That's how I wish I could do it. Oh, getting close. Getting close. Nope. Just curbs. Yep. Nicely off the racing line. Ooh, ooh. Decent save. On the rumble strips. Across the grass. Around to the side. Sensible enough to actually rejoin safely. Oh, oh, almost saved it. Hit reverse, hit reverse, hit reverse. There you go. Oh, no. Killing a Kia. And there's the same... Whoa! Okay, that's not gone well. You get spun by a caddy, make it round to the pits, and then launch yourself across the track. Bit of a Cadillac tap. Hence why I try and get out of their way. 
even when it costs me time, because I don't need that. Curb, curb. Outbreak themselves. Then got hit by me. Okay, let's see it again. So I'm coming inside. I back out of X or else there's no point in making a lunge. He completely outbreaks himself. I did drift into him. That was probably more my bad. And wasn't there something that happened next with a caddy? I can hear it. Here it comes. And there it goes. I mean, he did get a little bit of help on his way, but he was already making a whole licks of it to begin with, and he's done it again with a hairpin. Ooh, just managed to keep it on. Switch to a nice scenic cam there for a second. Okay, that's quite a cut. Where the... No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, and then he takes out the second caddy. Good work. That's what happened. Just see this one again. <laughs> So the German's got me behind him, nice distance away, he's coming up on the lap traffic, the lap traffic spins, blocks off the track, he hits it, ends up rolling, that looks decidedly second hand. Meanwhile that chap has to be Doesn't that the guy that did that on like lap one? He likes it so much he did it. Not again. Surely. Look at the state of it. Oh. Well, at least the back now matches the front. Oh, it's our friend in the green Kia off the. Oh. Getting revenge on completely wrong person. A bit of blinking. Okay. Will this Cadillac go past. No. He's trying to do it safely. I really hope he actually does manage to get through safely, but no. It's going to be curbs again, because that guy's mastered the art of going across the curbs or across the line. That's on the. That's what I do later. Oh, the heaven catches out another one. At some point it becomes not, can I save this, it's how can I save as much damage as possible. See, at some point I just think you might as well go straight... No, where? Turn. Turn. Well done for waiting. Okay. Sensible rejoin. Wait, was that actually... Nicholas, possibly? So that would explain why I made up about 10 seconds on him in a lap. No, it can't be. What happened? Right, so 19 goes off there. Is that just running wide at the hairpin? I want to explain why he went in the pits, though, surely. Unless he decided he just wanted new tyres. Oh, you did, did you even slow down? Oh, God. Ow. And back across the main straight. And into a tree. A little bit of a net code nudge. Well held by the Kia driver. Okay, we're all on our own in a Cadillac. Across the curb, into the hairpin. Nice line. 
curb again. Yep, curb. Oh no. Oh! oh. He took avoiding action to avoid hitting a Kia, I think it was. And then uh, gets a nudge for his trouble. And passed. Just completely cleared him out. Oh, caddies. I recognise this car. I was so lucky not to blow the engine then. Or get hit by that yellow caddy. Thank you for avoiding me, Mr. Caddy. <sighs> so annoying. I was so close. Should have got the win. But made two mistakes. And that one was an embarrassing one, because I really shouldn't have done. And that's it! And my mouse pointer has... Ah, there we go. So, uh, where were we? That's me... There... Right, so I'm in the lead. Nicholas has come out of the pits with better tyres. We've got Cadillacs coming up fast. He lunges. I decide to let him have it. Now, I'm on the outside here. There's a bigger gap than I thought, but not great. It really felt, at the time, like I was being completely pushed off the track. Peekaboo. There's <laughs> a mile that I could have used there. What a wally. Then he cuts across me to let those pass, which is fair enough. I then hope to have a look. He blocks. So the trouble was I needed to get back past him again as quickly as possible because I knew with him having newer tyres as soon as he got past that was it. I really want to know what whether he was pitting. Mm. On purpose or not, where's the lap times? 145, lap 10. Yeah, that's not what I wanted, that's what I wanted. Uh, car 12, off lap 116. Right. Because he was doing 116s. Aha! I think I know why you went in the pits now. So he did pretty much exactly the same as me. In the lead, everything's going fine. Cock's up going into the hairpin. Somewhere behind him now, I can see him. I'm presuming he just did tyres no fuel. I should be appearing around the outside sometime around now. There I go. And look at that. 
127, 120, and a 129. That's what, 9, 10, 11... probably lost about 20 seconds that I shouldn't have done with those two bigger incidents. Oh well. Got a second. I don't think it'll have helped my safety rating, but we'll see. Hello. There we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, safety rating Minus 0 0.08, which is fair enough, because I did make that dent in the tire wall at the end. I rating change, plus 57. Happy with that, so I'm back above 1500 by a bit now. So as long as I don't have any absolute disasters, my I rating should continue to increase. Uh, so, caddies were on by Grant Bray. Mark Missig got the best lap time in second place. Come down to the Kias. Nicholas won it. So his average lap time was a 118.9, which I should have been closer to. My average was a 119. His best lap time, 114.8. Mine, 115.4. So, if he hadn't had that crash, he probably would have won quite clearly. And after he had that crash, if I hadn't cocked up repeatedly, I would have won. So, it's another example, especially in iRacing, of how it's more about consistency and not crashing. Because, I mean, he was 0.7 seconds quicker than me in a single lap. But we both ended up losing the lead due to our own mistakes when there was no one else around, no one else touched us, we both just cocked it up and he was just lucky that he cocked it up less than me uh, Ma Espen got third despite having ten incidents and a much slower best lap but I'm guessing he avoided some of the carnage and then in German, finished fourth in the end. That was a nice recovery. 16 incidents. So he only just made it from being disqualified, I think. 